So, uh, welcome back. Today I'm with Evie Angelian, and uh, we're going to check out a couple of his mech builds by the looks of things. So, uh, do you want to tell me first about Gun Tank? Because he's sat there on top. Well, um, Gun Tank was one of the um, most um, prominent mechs in the original Gundam series, and so I decided that when I did a little test version of it from memory, I would have a go at actually building it accurately and to scale. Yeah. So this is it, to scale with all of the weapons that it would have had. The only thing it doesn't have is the core block system, which is where it would split apart and the fighter would fly out in the middle. Yeah. Which I would like to see working, actually, but you know. Um, maybe we can do that. Wouldn't be to scale, because you need more room, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could, could figure that out. Yeah. Mm. I was I'd thinking like about that the other day. Let's see um, it then. Fire fire the weapons, can you? Uh, yep. There we go, we've got AMCs. And... The shoulder cannons. Oh yes. See, that's nice. It's good it's, colours. It's cool. It's mainly designed... Sorry? Really. All you the cut out there, mate. What was that? It's designed for when ground combat comes in. Ah. Into play. It's designed... Oh. Yeah, I, I know it's okay. I caught it. So basically, um, we need to get some shots of these guys on planets, really, don't we? Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, we'll look at that in future for sure. Redot, yeah. yeah, well, no, no, we won't be flying anywhere. Uh, so, what's this one underneath then? Oh, no, it's okay. I need to get into gun cannon. So. Okay. So, which one are you in now? Gun cannon, haha, <laughs> yeah. I'm gun cannon down here. I see it. It's, um, the legs were really quite difficult. I think I might have made the thighs too long and the shins not long enough, but it's, um, half memory, half looking at reference images. It looks all right. <laughs> it's quite difficult because it's such a blocky machine. <laughs> yeah. And that might sound weird for a game that's based around blocks, but it's hard to distinguish between everything. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> next on the list is a um, is a Gundam. Cool. Fire the uh, AMC. The, the RX-78 2. Possibly fire the AMC. Got it. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, very nice. And now for the shoulder cannons. And the shoulders. Oh, it's beautiful. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, I it's, like um, it, man. It's so I'm well. I'm quite happy with how this turned out. It's well done. It looks good. And it, for, per if I, for many purposes, that is absolutely fine. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Has it got a little cockpit um, in there? I'll quickly redock it back onto the big red. Have you got a cockpit? Yes, yes it has. Not you much wanna, of one, but it... Do you want to open the door? Um, it's just oh yeah yeah I see what you've done yeah you really, just have it you can't really fit <laughs> you can fit a person in can stand inside yeah and close the, the door <laughs> yep exactly oh well done uh, right the then red, um, behind is just the transport mech so he's he's not particularly interesting stuff wise he hasn't got any weapons or anything so he doesn't really matter he's a tug a strong tug. He is. I'm proud of how he turned out, but otherwise... So what's the name of the tug? I used the, the... where the... Big Red. Big Red. This is the tripedal vehicle transport version. He has got a... Um, a um, personnel transport version which has legs and a canister on the back. I think this looks just like that. This looks really interesting, to be honest. That's <laughs> mm. a really cool design you finished up with. I oversized the I oversized the arms so that um, it looks like it could just reach around and pick them up off its back and just put or put pick them up from in front of him, put them round, whatever. Yeah, makes sense. And then big red for the crew canister, which is there, has a boost pack. And legs. And heavier armor. Still no weapons though. 
Um, the crew canister does actually have some uh, an idea behind it. Yeah. Which is that when it lands on a planet, you are already in all these blocks up here. Yeah. So you just drop out. And you've stored all your stuff in these plex storage. Drop onto the door and then open, open the door again and just drop onto the planet. That's a good idea. Yeah. We'll have to do some filmings in futures on planets. I'd assemble really like assemble I'd your really fleet. Like It'll look, it's just Assemble your fleet, it'll be loads of fun. Yes, sir. Alright, okay then, so I'm going to thank you very much for showing me these beautiful creations. And I'm going to thank everybody watching. Thanks. And I'm going to say look forward to the next show on Mushroom Fleet, and uh, I'll see you next time.